Okay, today we're here with Gail at Chocolates on Main and Main Street, Listable. And uh, we just thought we'd like to have a chat with you, Gail, and see how you got into the business uh, of Chocolates on Main. Um, well, it goes back eight years now, and the store actually started in Listable in 2003. So it's been here for 10 years, and I was lucky enough that the previous owners wanted to sell it. So I thought I would give it a try and see how it went for me. And here I am still. <laughs> yeah, and so uh, was there anything in particular that sort of drove you towards chocolate? <laughs> no, not necessarily. It was the idea of um, being in Listowel and supporting the community and being part of the community. I had been commuting for several years and had lots of touch with a lot of the community events and whatnot were going on. So it was a great way for me to get back involved with the community and reacquainted with people. So you're from Listowel Community? I am. You were born here? Or? Born and raised, never left. Oh, well, that's, that's interesting. So obviously it's a busy place and you've got all sorts of things going here, not just chocolate. Uh, what, what variety do you have? We have um, over 80 different chocolates in the store that are mostly about 90% manufactured by ourselves and we change it up seasonally so every month it's something different right now we're getting ready for easter in a couple of weeks but uh, when easter's done we turn to mother's day and we we prepare boxes of chocolates for moms with um, we have also jewelry and scarves and accessories so we might uh, put a necklace with a box of chocolates for a little gift for someone to give and um, we are driven seasonally so our seasons are our biggest in the summer, we have ice cream and smoothies and iced coffees. And all year round, we serve specialty coffees and lattes and freshly ground beans. So it's a really nice treat. It's a, it's a good store to treat yourself. So am I picking you up correctly that you make 90% of the cho chocolates yourself? Yes. Yes, my family. That's, that's right some, down to my that, daughter, who now has her own product line, and she's 13, and it's Ashley's Puddle Cups. Ashley's Puddle Cups. <laughs> That's a good name, Puddle Cups. And these ones are a hazelnut brownie, and this is a salted caramel Puddle Cup, and this one is a peanut butter Puddle Cup. And each of them are like the bottom half of a big muffin, and it's layers of chocolate, and then it's filled with a variety of different things. So the hazelnut brownie one is filled with hazelnuts and brownies, and the salted caramel Puddle Cup is filled with um, different layers of a variety of pretzels and marshmallows and caramels and salted caramels and the peanut butter same it's uh, stuffed with different crispies and crunchies and nuts and peanut butter and yeah so I sh she came up with this herself these, and these doesn't are start all to guaranteed finish. not to make you fat right? of course are, yeah yeah that's I don't let my wife in here because <laughs> if I let my wife in here she's a chocoholic um, she would eat her she way would never through leave. the store <laughs> 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 do you find that you get the same people coming back all the time. Chocoholic, what would you call it? Chocoholics? Chocoholic? I don't know. Um, yeah, we do. We have uh, loyal people who come in every day for their coffees, and um, then we have different people that come in to check out purses and see what's new for each season or different colors and new arrivals. And, and then last but not least, we have people that come in to pick up treats for a variety of different reasons, whether it be for themselves and their own addiction or whether it's for someone else. <laughs> And so um, I noticed that you have, you give away free chocolates by name or something, is that right? We do ice cream in the summer by name. Oh, ice cream, that's yeah. what it is. So if I come, there's a day for Roy, is there? It depends. We gather all the names from people who have come in to buy ice cream. And if you purchase an ice cream, you get to put your name in the draw to become eligible to have your name on the sign. And uh, it's extremely exciting for little kids that may have uncommon names that they never find on a notebook or a pen or whatever else because they can put their name in and then they'll be walking by or driving by with mom or a friend and they'll see their name on the sign saying, if, if your name is Bethany, come on in for a free ice cream. Not that that's an unusual name, but that was the first one that popped into my mind. That's exciting for me because if there's a Roy out there, I can come in and get ice cream, right? That's right. Oh, there you go. That's great. Well... Obviously, you enjoy it, although you wouldn't be here. I mean, it's a lot of hard work, I'm sure, because I don't know an entrepreneur that doesn't work hard. 
and you obviously don't get time to get away to all these great exotic places that they seem to think entrepreneurs go to, right? No, not I hear about them more than I, I get to go to them, so. <laughs> but you never know. No, you never know you what tomorrow never. brings. That's exactly it, and I think that's what drives a lot of entrepreneurs. You never know what's in the future. That's right. Um, if I was... I think we're people driven. I think entrepreneurs are people driven because it's the people we look forward to seeing every day and the relationships that you build with your loyal customers and new new faces and people that you've never met before and a lot of people in small towns we get a lot of people stopping in and day tripping and whatnot so you get to meet new people almost every day. Yeah. I've for some years been involved in community development and that's basically what you're talking about just getting the community together and sharing as a community and being a real community and you don't get that in larger cities but it's great in a small town that you can enjoy that. Mm -hmm, it is. Well if I was a, a young fella well, I am a young fella, but that's right. Uh, you are just starting, just starting out, and I and I wanted to be. I didn't want to work for someone. I wanted to be an entrepreneur. What advice would you give me? Um, get out and talk to other entrepreneurs and see what wisdom they have to offer you, and perhaps they can let you know a pitfall that they fell through that maybe you could avoid. Um, build relationships with other entrepreneurs and there's lots of government programs and assistance out there these days too for people who want to do startup businesses yeah. so those are things that you should check into too and I, I stay just, optimistic and stay optimistic right I, I wondered is there a, a group in uh, this well a group of entrepreneurs that kind of get together and encourage each other um, there has been on and off in the past. There's a women in women's networking group right now that's in Listowel, and it meets I think one one Tuesday a month. I haven't been to it for a few weeks. Tuesday nights aren't good for me. And then there's also our local BIA, and there's also the chamber that you can um, get together with others. I think it's it's very important to get together with kindred spirits. And, and it does help to develop the community. It does. Is there anything else you'd like to tell us about your store? Um, it's always changing, so you never know what to expect in here. And uh, we do a lot of gift baskets, and um, a lot of people that get different treats in their gift baskets, they'll come in because they've enjoyed it and they want to give it to someone else. Mm -hmm. We've branded Chocolates on Main, like I said, for actually it'll be 11 years this summer. And I think people are, are fairly excited when they receive a gift from our store. So it's a great place to come in. And you can sit and have a coffee and um, we have some fantastic cookies and just relax and enjoy the atmosphere. And we have free Wi-Fi for those who want to come and work while they're here. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you very much for hosting us, having us with you today. It's been a real pleasure. And don't forget, chocolates on Main. Come in, have a coffee, say hi, and join the community. Walking round this town Look around and say hello Turn around let's go The preceding program was brought to you by The Town Rag at townrag.ca Whiteman TV and Bruce Telecom